Yeah, these are incredible scenes to me. It's extremely bizarre. That single light bulb represents the French embassy, I believe. Given as a French flag and a European Union flag outside it. This is a central square in Lviv. And we are just around the corner from the, the main promenade. But the one building that's uh, illuminated. This is Christmas Day in a major city. Um, larger than Leeds, with a roughly equivalent population, around a million people. So it's, it's, one, of the, it's one of the major cities. It's a bit, of, you know, third or fourth biggest in England. And it's the central square. There's one building illuminated around the corner from the town hall. And geographically, this is... This is, I believe, the furthest away. I mean, a, a couple of hours on a coach and you're in Poland. In Przemysl, I mean... Mind bending. Okay, there's an open establishment, so this street is uh, a little, little more illuminated. But given this place in times of normality, and any other major Western city, on Christmas Day, the evening of Christmas Day, on the 25th, and yeah, it shows you the. In a very under, low key and understated, but nonetheless, a melon twisting way, just for the mind bending mayhem of the world's largest country and its disgraceful invasion of war being waged on this place. I mean, McDonald's is just up ahead of us. This is the busiest part of the city, and it's, it's like a sort of Belle Epoque ghost town. Not ghost town, that's a stretch. It's not like there, there are still cars and a few people milling. It's not like there's tumbleweeds flying around. But to put this in context, yeah, the, the Russell Brands, the vacuous charlatan talking heads excusing this war or obfuscating the waters with their cheap, tawdry, empty and vapid video blogs and the Jordan Petersons and Snowdens and uh, George Galloways who have a, a little more mental agility and intellectual prowess so they put they put more of a so they're able to put more of a pseudo intellectual spin on things but either way they should be brought here in Foss to clear up rubble <laughs> and uh, remove mines from residential areas and clean up dead bodies I advise that actually if you've ever you know, scraped a corpse up or dealt with the, the detritus of uh, destruction it's quite an instructive experience and it can be can be uh, I don't want to say ennobling because it sounds like a the same kind of wankery where people think poverty is ennobling as it fuck spiritually ennobling has the opposite effect but yeah Putin is not adhering to the Geneva Convention and there is no excuse for this Merry fucking Christmas Bar humbug